Lesson thirteen, phrasal verbs for time and change, part one. Miriam calls Jenny to tell her about a change in Sam and Ruth's wedding plans. At first, Jenny asks if they called it off. The phrasal verb "call an event off" means to cancel it. But Miriam says it's only a date change. They've moved the wedding up from August to July. The phrasal verb "move an event up" means to change it to an earlier date. The opposite is to move an event back. That would mean to change it to a later date, such as September. Jenny asks Miriam to hold on while she checks her calendar. The phrasal verbs "hold on" and "hang on" mean to wait a moment. Jenny will be very busy, but she thinks her family can squeeze in a trip. To squeeze in or fit in means to manage to make a plan or appointment in the middle of a very busy schedule. Miriam asks about Jenny's kids who are on summer vacation from school. Jenny says that the novelty of vacation has worn off. To wear off means its effects have diminished and disappeared over time. Now her kids keep on saying that they are bored. To keep on doing something means to continue doing that action. Miriam is an experienced mother. She brought up a total of six children. To bring up a child means to educate and take care of him or her. She had four of her own kids and adopted her sister's two children after her sister passed away. If you say someone passed away, it's a polite way to say the person died. Jenny says that her daughter likes to read, but her sons have a lot of energy. They take after their father. If you say someone takes after a parent or relative, it means that they are similar in personality. Miriam reminds Jenny that kids grow up fast. To grow up means to get older and eventually become an adult. When she thinks back on the days when her kids were young, she remembers the good times. To think back on or look back on something means to remember or reflect on something in the past. Miriam has been putting off buying a dress for the wedding because she wants to lose some more weight. To put off a task means to delay or procrastinate doing it. Jenny hasn't gotten around to shopping for a dress either. To get around to doing something means to manage to find time to do it, especially when you are busy or when you have already put off, delayed the task for a while. Every time Jenny plans to go shopping, something comes up. This means that some situation appears that requires her presence or attention, meaning she needs to cancel her other plans. Jenny talks about the last wedding she attended, where the sermon dragged on for more than two hours. If something drags on, it means it continues for a long time and is rather boring or unpleasant. Miriam comments that the bride and groom, the woman and man getting married, probably wanted the pastor to hurry up and finish. The phrasal verb "hurry up" means to go faster. Because Jenny's kids were getting cranky, upset, annoyed, or in a bad mood, her family didn't stick around for the reception after the ceremony. To stick around means to stay in a place for some extra time. At the end of the call, Miriam says she's looking forward to seeing Jenny in July. To look forward to something means to be happy and excited about an event in the future. That's nineteen phrasal verbs related to time and change. 
In the next lesson, you'll learn more on this same topic. Go ahead and do the quiz and writing exercises, and log in tomorrow for lesson 14.